Hello there, I'm Kevin from the Saber Factory and today I'm here with uh, Barney and Grogu uh, for another video guide and we are going to go through the three different ranges of lightsabers that we have at the Saber Factory. They each represent a different technology, a different motherboard. So we have the standard with RGBX, the uh, premium with Xenopixel and the Deluxe with Profi board. And we're going to go through these three different ranges so you understand the difference between them and their different functionalities, the different uses. We're not gonna go in depth and see all of the, you know, all of the colors and all of the sounds, you know, everything, but we're just going to list and show also the main functionalities. So that at the end of the video, I, I hope that you will have a better understanding of the different ranges and why they're there and which is uh, best for you. So let's go, let's dive in and start with the standard Sabre, the Baselit RGBX board. Um, let me make some space and just uh, get everything else out of the way for now. Okay, so the standard Sabre, these are RGB boards. They have evolved and have become very complete actually. And the latest version is the RGBX. Starting 2022, all of our sabers, uh, the standard sabers, baselit have RGBX boards. How does it work? So basically, this is a baselit saber, meaning that the uh, the light is actually emitted from the base, which is the hilt. So inside, you will see that you have the LEDs here directly. So when you start it up. The light comes from the hilt. So this is a base lit saber. And when you put the blade in, it's going to basically reflect inside of the blade. Which is the main difference that you have uh, with a nail pixel blade. Uh, I can show you now. This is a nail pixel. And I don't know if now you can really see it because, you know, with the brightness and the camera, but basically the uh, base lit saber is going to be less bright at the end because this is uh, the furthest from the LED source. And this is going to retain a lot of brightness and also allow for a lot of cool effects. But we'll see that later on. The base lit saber, let's get back to it. So, they have 12 sound fonts. They have smooth swing, so basically... You see? They react very well to uh, swings, and they actually have gotten much better. And honestly, the difference in smooth swing between this and a Xenopixel, I honestly, I don't hear the difference much. Also, these have, they are made for dueling. So basically, the idea is, because it's base lit, you have an empty blade, so if it breaks, it's much less expensive to replace. Um, so it's much more durable. And they have, the base lit board has some functions that dualists will love. Um, mainly, you can, so when I turn it on, um, so you have, uh, of course, you have flash on clash, you have blaster deflection, um, but these you can you can turn off. You only have to press. So I'm just going to turn it off, and I'm show, going to show you. You press four uh, LEDs flashes, and you can turn the flash off. So now there is no more flash. A lot of academies uh, will ask that you duel with sabers that do not make a flash. Also, some want them muted. So basically you just press once, volume low, volume low and now mute. So now when you turn it on, it's got no sound and no flash on clash. So this is uh, very useful for uh, duelists because these are requirements that a lot of academies will have and these sabers comply to them. You also have two motion controls on these boards. The, the first one is to change the sound font. And then the second one is to turn it on or off. The 
there you go. So this is the RGBX board, 12 fonts, smooth swing, flash on clash, blaster deflection, and you can turn uh, uh, the flashes off. You can also lower the volume or mute it, and you have a quick twist to change uh, fonts or turn it on or off. You cannot customize the sounds, you cannot access the data, you know, and, and, and meddle with it. This is reserved to Xenopixel in a certain extent and to Profi Sabers. And we are going to go to Xenopixel now. Okay, now let's have a look at what the Xenopixel option is. This is our premium range. It's the one that we recommend the most if you're not dueling very heavily with it. So, Xenopixel boards are made for Neopixel blades. A Neopixel blade is a blade that, uh, contrary to the one from the standard uh, Sabre with the RGBX board, these have LEDs all across the blade. These are full LED blades, so uh, you do have now in newer versions some LEDs in hilt that are only there for show when you use a blade plug you know but it doesn't it doesn't really uh, uh do more than that here it's a blade that basically i'm going to show you it's got a connector um at the end and it basically will just connects to uh the saber so here you have a connector inside the hilt and the blade also has a connector. It's not like the RGBX, which is basically empty and allows the, the light to shine through. Here it's a connector and it's full LED. And it makes a huge difference because it is much brighter. It allows for uh, localized uh, visual effects. And I'm going to show you a couple of them uh, later on. On the Xenopixel, the sounds can be added and change on the SD card. So inside of your Sabre, you're going to find a, uh, a SD card and it's uh, always uh, delivered with a uh, SD card USB reader. And you can then change the fonts that you have. Like, it's not as extended as a Profi Sabre where you can code everything that you want with your Sabre. Here you can only, you know, add more sounds and won't be able to do much more than that. So it's a cool feature, um, but it's not as complex uh, as Profi, which is also a good thing because a Profi Saber, we will uh, see that later on, but it's very complex, you know, like if you do not know your way around coding an Arduino, if you're not very comfortable with that, don't go this route, choose the Xenopixel. It is ready to play with, you have nothing to do, you just turn it on and you have a great lightsaber. Again, smooth swing. Uh, flash on clash and uh, blaster deflection. So again, I'm going to switch colors because I don't think this is going to be very appropriate. You see here, uh, this is a blade effect where you can see the localized crackling. I don't know what it is, but so you can see that you know, the LEDs can turn on individually uh, to create this sort of effect. It, it's also great when you choose some uh, blade, blade modes. Blaster blade. Like, blaster blade is basically an empty blade and you can shoot. You can shoot blasters. So, yeah, you, you have a lot of that. Um, I'm going to switch back to something Ghost blade. more practical. So yeah, very cool. Um, you have, again, volume control. Uh, you can turn volume, volume low, low. Mute. mute, again, same thing. Volume high. You have 10 blade modes, uh, including seven ignitions. You have six blade effects. Uh, we just, uh, I just showed you a couple, you know, a couple blade modes and blade effects here. And you have six motion controls. I'm not going to go into too much details again here. But yeah, so that you can understand the difference. This is the best saber for cosplaying, for show, for 
yeah, for having fun as long as you do not uh, duel too much with it because at some point a heavy hit could break one of the LEDs and uh, you're, you'll end up having to, I don't know, solder uh, the uh, broken LEDs uh, together or find a replacement strip or just, you know, buy uh, a new blade again. We have replacements, but, you know, it's never a nice thing to break them. Okay, so now to the Profi Saber. Okay, so the Profi Saber, I don't have um, much to show because, well, basically, um, it's the same thing as the Xenopixel in terms of blade. It uses a NeoPixel blade, so you have the same type of connector. It's got just the motherboard is much different. It is a fully programmable Arduino. It comes with a basic set of around 19 fonts. So, you know, so just to remind you, the uh, uh, standard uh, sabers have 12 fonts. You cannot change them. The Xenopixel in our premium range has 34 fonts that you, you can actually add more. Um, and the Profi, you have, uh, right now you have a set of 19 fonts, but you can basically, the, the idea with the Profi Saber is that you can do anything you want. It's up to you to activate and use the ability to, uh, you know, have motion controls. Uh, you have a rich smooth swing and you can code a lot of things. You can code a lot of effects, the way the Saber reacts to your movements and to uh, the way you use the uh, function button. Button. So, it, sky is the limit, basically. It's really up to you, but you need to be aware that it requires some skills or, uh, well, spending a lot of time on the interwebs, you know, on Reddit. And there is a large community of profi uh, motors, people that can help you uh, get a grip on your saber if you're uh, a little uh, way above your, your head. It's... It's not the easiest thing, but if you're comfortable with it, it's just the best out there. Um, and it's 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 your saber. You make your own sound fonts. You make your own you know blade effects and everything. It's it's the coolest. Yeah, I hope you understand a little bit more uh, about these different types of lightsabers. So to summarize. Uh, the Dolux option is really for the experts who want to code their own saber and make it very unique. You have a lot of resources to help you, but it's kind of a learning curve if you're a beginner, but it's, it really always is the coolest thing to build your own thing. High technology, great thing. Uh, Xenopixel is like the best thing for everyone, basically. It's the best of both worlds. You have a very cool lightsaber. You can actually duel a little bit with it. Uh, you can have fun. It looks great. It's got a lot of effects, 34 sounds, and you can add more. It's, it's just, it just is, I mean, like the best compromise. And the dueling saber is cool if you, well, if you're looking just to have a hilt in your collection, it's the cheapest. So it's the best one. It still has 12 fonts. Uh, it's got a couple uh, effects. It really is like enough for most people. Uh, it also is the necessary option if you're dueling seriously with it. So I would recommend that you always go with the standard base lit sabers when you uh, plan on dueling, you know, or like learning to twirl or some cool moves. You don't want to break a NeoPixel blade. It, it's near a hundred dollars to replace it while this is just like, uh, a little bit more than 30 bucks so it's easier to replace in case you break something and i mean like breaking the polycarbonate blade is kind of tough it's it, it, uh, honestly it's the leds that can be fragile so here are your three choices and i i hope it's it's help you understand the difference between them and um and when i have more videos uh, explaining the the in-depth functionalities of each i will link them in the description or somewhere here around me in the video and uh i hope you have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you my friends